Hi everyone, my name is Eileen Felix and I am Get Real with Eileen. Um, this has been a long time that I've updated any of my pregnancy prenatal videos and I just wanted to add more context, more videos, more stuff that I've learned since the last time I actually posted. Um, it's actually really, really, really been a journey, you know, 2020 since the pandemic, where now we're in the end of 2023. And so there's so many things that I have learned from postnatal, after birth, um, to prenatal, so many situations that I never heard of before, like placentia previa, um, situations I've never heard. Like, I actually got to meet a couple people who had, like, a gestational diabetes and, you know, emergency C sections. And then nowadays, there's a walking epidural that you could do. And um, what also super shocking still, every time I have my prenatal clients, as some of you guys know, I am a massage therapist. Um, I work in the Los Angeles County. I am a freelancer, so I go to people's houses. And, excuse me, um, I've been doing that for since 2016. And prenatal has been my, you know, my certification. And I always like, because it's one of my main things, I find myself catering a lot to prenatal women. And I end up talking to them and connecting with them and I absolutely love doing that because I really feel like motherhood brings women together motherhood brings women in the mommy and daddy club you know we we get away from like the pick me stuff we get away from competition we get away from buying for men to hey this is a thing that your grandma went through my grandma went through you're going through right now i went through it's that's why i say it's like a club that only certain people get to to experience and we all get to experience it in totally different ways i myself had an induced labor and you could actually still find some of those videos where I'm like raw footage crying about my son's birth and how like how I felt so like a goddess, you know. Um, speaking of goddesses, one of the books that I have here, Saima Corral, Goddess Reclaimed. Um, if you become a mom, I deeply 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 or thinking about being a mom or just a woman in general but like for sure being a mom they recommend this because this really makes you understand and see how like goddess worship and matriarchy has been around for thousands and thousands of years and it really makes you feel like as a woman that you do have a divine value and worth and you know i honestly <laughs> i hate bringing up like other religions and stuff but the way that christianity and catholicism puts women down for being the creators of life and that our sins are the reasons our sinful ways <laughs> are the reasons why which is not funny but um we go through the pains of labor and stuff like that you know it's ridiculous but this really brings you perspective out and it helps you really help me really um it helped me integrate the value that i bring spiritually as a woman and the stories that other women went through and the goddess you know history and as long as we remember these goddesses they're still alive and so you know a goddess reclaimed by saima Corral, and she has an amazing story i really really like her um i also have this other book <laughs> your pregnancy week by week 
by Dr. Glade B. Curtis, OBGYN, and Judith Schuler. This book is actually really helpful. Um, my aunt gave it to me when I was pregnant because she knew I was like a bookworm. And it really helps you, you know, understand what you're going through week by week during your your pregnancy you know all the way to week 40 41 and it and it gives it to you in a way that it's not overwhelming you don't have to read it all at once you can read it week by week and actually there's apps now you know we're so lucky to live in this day and age because there's apps where you can download and every single week it'll tell you what you know to expect with when you're expecting and your baby how they're developing and there's just so many awesome cool things that you guys have now um and this time you know and and welcome to the mommy club right and um it's really late right now my son actually just turned nine this year and when i started making these videos he was barely born and having a child like changed me it changed my essence it changed my purpose it changed my will to live <laughs> and um and it really i learned so much and i i really learned to respect women learn to respect my mom more and my grandma and my aunts and all the women in my family and because we live in a society and especially as a Latina um, I'm Mexican and Salvadorian but I was born and raised in the US in Los Angeles so I get a it, girl it's hard it's hard out here <laughs> because um, and I love sharing this information with women all over it's just what having a baby does what it did to me and maybe you can resonate this with this um maybe it can give you some more perspective and align exactly like give you words to what you're feeling hopefully hopefully and if it does please comment below follow and subscribe um because i'm back at it again with these videos i feel more at ease more confident and i've been writing 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 so many things to try to get back at this again in a better clear p concise way and hopefully one day even like do speeches and stuff and wear these amazing coats and jackets that I've been saving up for speeches but anyway I digress sorry <laughs> side note side note um being a mom and having a child changed me in a way that not only like I said gave me purpose not only gave me divine connection not only like it gave me so many things like it it that's why I call it the mommy and daddy club because whereas marriage and I've been married before I didn't marry the father of my son but I was married before and so marriage gives you like social capital marriage people respect you more when you're married people take you seriously more when you're married people actually care about like you and how you present yourself a little bit I feel like and then men also you know they also get like this um, social equity when they're married they get more promotions they get more chances at work they're able to you know connect more with other people with other married men and usually married men are in charge of things so in the same way that being married gives you social capital being a mom gives you social capital being a mom gives you a value that women who don't have kids uh it's it's different it's like they have their value and we have our value it's different and you start to realize how some people don't care about you because you have a kid that's one of the things i really learned like one of my friends at the time when i had orion um like started crying <laughs> because uh 
she was just like upset I guess that the way we were gonna party and live our lives wasn't gonna be the same anymore sorry I keep moving around and um it keeps refocusing and so she started crying and but the thing is that she was still there for me and she really helped me pull through when I had postpartum depression and she really helped me like get out more and um, with postpartum depression I have a lot of videos on that because it took me about a year my son was a year old until I got out of it another thing that I've learned from being a mom and postpartum in talking to other moms is that maybe postpartum doesn't hit you the first time it doesn't hit you the second kid it won't hit you the third kid but it'll like get you like a bitch on the fourth kid because a lot of women they'll go go grind grind move 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 and survival survival mode <laughs> every single day and next thing you know each kid it's compounded so whereas men see having children as linear as in like oh I had one kid we're past it I have a second kid we passed it I have a third kid we passed the goalpost and now with four with women physically mentally spiritually having children is compounded it's because it's more responsibility every day for us you know it's we have one kid okay now we have a second kid all right now we have a third kid shit okay and now the fourth kid so being four and then taking care of four different personalities plus your husband having to work or not work or having to deal with you know one kid's in second grade third grade the other kids in kinder the other kids in f barely four other kids barely a baby you know if you had them that close or if they're older it's, it's a lot to handle it's a lot to juggle and that's why another thing I've learned since making this last batch of videos on YouTube about motherhood and parenting is that your brain and there's been so much more research you know since when I first started making videos your brain changes like a lot <laughs> after each pregnancy and men don't understand that because they don't understand women in general and pregnancy less but women don't even understand that like a lot of women don't know that and that's the reason why I started making these videos so that someday I hope even if I have to croak <laughs> before it ends up happening and I don't get to live to see the day but I would hope that one day this sort of education gets integrated into middle school maybe even in elementary definitely high school um, so that children don't have to be so lost and confused and many adults and parents lost and confused about what happens when you're pregnant what happens after how to recover how to deal with um, you know what's happening with your body so your brain your body changes and adjusts so much and one of the main things that also changes and adjusts is your brain and the thing that changes your brain the most is the hormones that are getting pumped into your body during your pregnancy. So people don't realize that moms are the real superheroes in the fact that they can hear better. And all moms will attest to this. They can hear better. They can smell more. Like you just pick up the scents all around you like so much more. That's why I feel like a lot of women are into candles and scents and there's so much you know billion dollar industry on just like Febreze and like cleaning products and it's not just the fact to keep things clean but it needs to smell clean you know like car stuff or you know perfume cologne um, oils all that stuff so smell is like a big thing with women who have kids and like that's the thing like maybe you know your wife completely changes after maybe things get on her nerves a little bit more things that never did before and that's why I feel like this is so important for men to know and understand too because if you think your wife is crazy because she's smelling something that she didn't notice before it's unfair to take that out on her and it's unfair to like treat her different or be like oh she's changed so much after the baby yeah dude she literally has changed 
her brain, her the way her body works, sense of smell, taste, hearing, even eyesight, like her skin. Some people lose teeth. Bro, some people lose teeth, girl, like literally. Some people lose teeth because the baby's taking away the calcium in your body. You know, black spots. I'm not even talking about just like physical, like your hair, but like internally things are changing because of the hormones and because of the loss of hormones after birth you know so that's why like baby blues is a thing and that's why postpartum depression is a thing and that's why women can need as much help as they can get when having a child excuse me so sorry another thing that's pretty 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 insane is breastfeeding right so breastfeeding your body is metamorphosizing (laughs) and i'm a millennial hey and metamorphosizing in the way that you know you're starting your breast tissue who you know the last time our breasts were growing was when we were like 12 13 14 15 (laughs) as some of you early bloomers nine you know so to have like this new sensation of like our breast growing and hardening and the chance of mastitis which is literally um mastitis mastitis whatever man um infection in the ducks you know the food you need to eat the calories increase that you need to have when you're breastfeeding the amount of mental and physical energy that breastfeeding takes it is it is such 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 um energy consuming it is very very energetically consuming to breastfeed but it's so good for our kids it is so good for our kids and i would never tell anyone like don't do it do it girl do it do it do it do breastfeeding as much as you can you know find all the awesome things that there are now to make it comfortable for you there are so many ways to make breastfeeding comfortable for you now you know they have the organic cotton um padding you know there's nipple butter there's oils there's even like like metal circles you can put in your freezer and so that you can put on your breast to reduce um the chafing and the physical pain that you're going to go through because um, the type of skin that your your nipple is starts to crack it might even bleed it might even um, you know just be too sensitive to shower and I remember that was one of the things that I never heard no one ever told me all the videos I saw on the internet nothing mentioned anything about how painful breastfeeding is and it really is but it is a pain that I was willing to go through for my son and I breastfed him for like six months and then we did half half and then I weaned him off um, when his teeth started growing in because that's another thing he bit me and I'm not about that life he bit me and I was like no <laughs> we're not doing this and so breastfeeding I'm looking at my notes um, breastfeeding is a big big thing now you must breastfeed within the first days to stimulate the breast milk because your if your baby's in the NICU or they have jaundice um, you kind of lose the chance to breastfeed because your body assumes that the baby didn't make it because you're not stimulating after birth so you need to stimulate your nipples this is just side note like tips and stuff um to, and when the baby is born um so that in case he's in the NICU or because he has jaundice so that you don't lose that window to breastfeed okay um this video is at 19 minutes and so i hope this is helpful in any way welcome to the mommy and daddy club ah! there's like so much more to talk about and i am I feel so lucky and I feel so proud to have met so many moms and have been able to connect with so many moms and have been able to connect with so many clients even dads you know dads we have we're I have I have more ability more connections ability to make connections with people that are complete strangers because we have kids you know because we can compare our kids we can ask advice we could you know um, 
shoot the shit, like complain together. <laughs> we can, uh, it's a resource, you know, knowing another parent is a resource. And honestly, like that's how pretty much the U.S. has been doing it. And that's why our child care system is so fucked because the government hasn't really been into like actually unifying and creating a system for parents because parents have been just figuring it out on their own and I do appreciate the community but it would be nice to have a place to talk to people and to connect with people and you know not be a psychopath just because you're a parent that's another thing like parenting can make you crazy like being a parent makes people crazy and another new thing I just learned that I will end this video with is that men also go through a postpartum and when I was talking to a therapist last week who was actually pregnant who I was working on um, I was massaging her she was saying that there is disorders now for men who get postpartum after the kid because you know one of my things that I do is I love to connect with people and I love to overshare and I love to cheese me out as a Latina so I'll be talking to them and I'll be just like what's up girl like talk to me where you at how do you feel do you feel confident with your situation you know this is what happened to me um let me hit you with like some real shit like and so I'm telling her like how psychotic the father of my son became after our kid and I explained a few scenarios and she's like oh dude he most likely got postpartum too he got postpartum like OCD anxiety and I was like what do you mean that's like a thing and she's like oh yeah it's totally a disorder there's a name for it now like a lot of men go through it a lot of men go through this sort of um, psychosis after postpartum because they were already OCD they had already anxiety and so the weight of having a kid and expectations really gets to them to the point that they start acting irrational ludicrous like exactly how you all the things you're saying and i go oh my gosh that gave me so much peace girl <laughs> that gave me so much healing to hear that this is a thing this is a thing that happens to people in the same way that knowing about postpartum then in the same way knowing that breastfeeding fucking sucks that pregnancy sucks and that's literally why i don't want to have another kid one and done girl for me one and done and <laughs> and it just gave me so much peace to know like okay he had a lapse he had a psychotic episode and that's why he was acting like that and we're good now we co-parent now we're good now but it was so nice to hear it <laughs> it was so nice so i hope this gives you any sort of peace welcome to the mommy and daddy club and you guys are more than welcome to watch any of my other videos and i hope it really helps you guys feel you know a little bit better about this super scary anxious building um you know experience that some of us get to have okay so this is Eileen Felix. If you guys want to find me on Instagram, I'm Mama Needs Love. Mama underscore needs underscore love. And I work in the Los Angeles County. If you want to DM me, if you want to look at any of my videos on my Instagram, I basically talk about massage, uh, self care tips, all natural remedies. And um, now I work in Long Beach at a place called Babes and Bellies. And whenever you see this video, I work there or I currently work there. And it's a really great place where you can get your ultrasounds, belly facial, massage. You can get um, your casting, belly casting uh, to memorize, memorialize, memorialize, <laughs> memorialize your experience as a new mommy and daddy. So I hope to see you guys out there and wish you the best welcome 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 okay so good morning whenever you're watching this this is a uh timeless video i hope there's more and inspires people to do more research and to learn more and to talk about it more you know ask your mom ask your grandma ask your aunts you know how was your birth experience what happened like 
I have been able to get to know my family so much more deeply be- since becoming a parent. You know, not just like strangers, but like my literal family. And they were telling me things that I I never knew. I never knew this person was having such a difficult birth. That person was having, you know, uh, a difficult problem a, a problem with like the hospital. You know. Um, this person was smooth sailing the first kid was really hard but the second kid was super easy the first kid was super easy but the second kid was super hard you know everybody has their own experience nothing is you know the same everybody's different so um i hope this helps you guys in any way um buenos dias buenas tardes buenas noches good morning good afternoon good night until next time